Hello and welcome back to Overbooked. I'm Amanda and today we're starting a week-long reading challenge. So I've seen a couple people do this. I think I saw her name is escaping me. Brit? Basically Brit? Something. Did this challenge. It's read two hours a day for a week. So I am going to try to do that. I'll link her video. There's a ton of there's a ton of people who've done that, but she's the one who I saw do this and gave me this idea. So I'll link her below. We are gonna be reading two hours a day, every day. It is Thursday until next Thursday. I have two books up on the docket. So I have Gunkel, which I was in the middle of reading. I'm about halfway through. I'm really liking it so far. I think it's really cute. It's a really perfect like summer read. It's like 80s out right now. I think it'll be really great. Then I have Kim Jong. Born 1982, and I am reading this from with my friend Rachel, and I'm very excited about this. I actually don't honestly really know the synopsis of this book, so I'll dive in more <laughs> once I start reading, but this one's pretty short. So these are the only two books I have on deck. Um, I have some other books that I've put on hold from the library, but I do actually want to start reading through some books of mine that I own and get through them. Let's look and see what we have. Depending on what I get or how my holds come up from the library, I think maybe what I would like to try to tackle is another shorter book, uh, Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. I think this will be my third book in case my other library holds don't come in in time. And I'm only expecting one other book. I don't really know. Do you guys think I'm going to be flying through reading? Like how many books? Let's Take a poll. If you're in, if you're watching this video right now and you're watching it this second, in the comments below, guess how many books I get through in a week. I'm gonna guess two. But I feel like two hours a day is a lot of reading, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, so this is my this is my backup after the other library books. I might some I might start some time right now. So let's get reading. We got 15 minutes until the pizza's done. So getting 15 minutes of reading in. Now let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go. Here we are. Time starts now. Okay, it is now nine o'clock. I don't know. Can you see this? I started at eight o'clock. So um, I'm tapping out. And I think this is, I have a good reason to. One, I read over my lunch break, which was about an hour. That would be two hours today, regardless. And while I ran, I listened to my audiobook and that was like a 20 minute endeavor. So I think that I'm fine. I think I made, I think I successfully read two hours today. I'm about this far in to Gunkel, the Gunkel. I really like this book. I think it's really sweet. Gunkel is about uh, this man, Patrick, and he is an uncle to two kids who just lost their mom, who was also his best friend from college and who ended up marrying his brother. It's a little complicated. And so when he goes to like his sister or his friend's funeral or whatever it is, um, his brother tells him that he has to take the kids because he's going into rehab. Suddenly Patrick's life went from like him living alone as, and he's like this ex like TV star. So he's living alone, this like really big house, it's empty. And now it's like filled with these two kids and they're kind of, helping each other through their grief in unexpected ways that I don't think the kids really expected and I don't think Patrick expected. And so it's really kind of sweet. It's sweet seeing these kids and this, uh, this uncle take to each other and their adventures throughout the day. And like, there's some sad parts too, cause they're going, obviously they're going through grief, but it's in, it's written in such a loving and caring way that it's like, I don't know, heartwarming. And so I really, really, really like it. I, it seems kind of long though. I didn't expect it to be as long as it is. It's 324 pages. I guess it's not that super long, but it's like kind of a thicker book than I thought it would be. I'm really tired. I go to bed. We'll read for two hours tomorrow. Oh. Hello, we have a quick hour drive. I don't know how quick that is, but I'm gonna use this to get my last hour of two hours a day in of reading. So let's get started. And then I guess a cake pop as well. Uh, what type of cake pop? Is it birthday or chocolate? Birthday cake, please. Birthday. 
Is that all for today? Yep, that's it. Good morning. I look amazing. I love it. Today is Saturday and we have like a Mother's Day brunch slash birthday thing today. So I'm gonna, I, well, I got up because I could not. Sometimes I wake up and I can't fall back asleep. And that happened today at uh, 5.30 a.m. Love it. So I thought, what a better way to take advantage of this lovely morning than get up and read. Um, I also have very bad allergies that I do not have adequate medicine for. So we are gonna read until it's at a reasonable time to go to Target. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get the right allergy medicine. Goodbye. I'm gonna read. I promise. I'm not gonna show you a clock. I promise you, I'm gonna read for two hours. I wouldn't lie. Okay. I have read for an hour and a half, so not quite two hours, but I think I'll read more tonight. Oh my eyes. I can't wait to go to Target and get up better eye drops. But I have finished the gunkle in my time. I actually finished it within like the first five minutes. I only had so much left. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. I thought it was really fun. I think this is actually a really great like summer read. And I just like, I don't know, it just really was really sweet. And I think I've already kind of talked about it, but um, we follow Patrick, who is an uncle to two young kids who recently just lost their mom, who was also his best friend in college, who was also his brother's wife. And then at the funeral, he realizes that um, his brother is addicted to pain pills pain medication so he goes to rehab and he asks his brother Patrick to look after the kids for a summer and he does and it like helps him and the kids in a lot more unexpected ways than they thought it would and it was just a really sweet book and just very summery like takes place in LA you know him and the kids are at the pool like every day it's it's a fun read I, I liked it a lot definitely recommend especially for summer and then I started King Jung born 1982 and I'm already like halfway so I guess it was a good thing I pulled out a third book option uh this book starts with Kim Jong and where we see her and her husband and uh, right after she has a child and she starts like acting strange like she'll start imitating other people and she doesn't remember herself doing it like she imitates people like other women like, it's like she embodies them and like she acts like them she talks like them and she doesn't know that she's doing it. she's very unaware she has no idea she's doing it after her husband like you know sets her up with this like appointment with the psychiatrist we're now like looking at like her life and how she came to that moment so we're looking at her like growing up being like you know, the second daughter in a family of three in a world where like, so it takes place in Korea where the feminist movement is trying to get started, but it's like very just tough to get started and like be a woman during that time. And uh, her and her sister are, you know, struggling to get recognized and go to school. I just finished, I, what I was just reading is Kim Jong was just finishing school, college, and she's trying to find a job and no one was hiring her and and she knows and has a feeling that it's because she's a woman. And so, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting. Like, I don't, it's like all in the third person. So it's all like, or I guess you just have like this narrator narrating the story, but I like it so far, it's different. I don't think I've read a book like this before, um, but I'm really, really liking it. And I'm kind of interested to see how we get to the point where she is, in present day, you know, imitating other people. So I wonder how she gets to that point or what that's supposed to sign like represent. Like, I don't think I've wrapped my head around that yet. So I like it, but I also really love this cover. And now it makes a lot of sense now that I know what the book's about. Like her face is unknown. Like, I don't really know, I guess what this scene is. It looks like a desert, but it makes sense that you can't see her face because if she's impersonating other people, then what's her face look like? Like, who is she? I don't know. I don't know, but it, it's interesting. Um, I'm liking it so far, so I'm excited to talk to you. When I finish it, talk to Rachel about it. Um, it'll be good. Uh, this was a longer check-in because we fit, I finished a book and I'm halfway through another book, but I need to get ready to go to Target and get allergy medicine and other stuff. So I'll check in later when I have 
finish my last half hour of reading. Hi. Today's Saturday. Did I tell you guys this already? I think it's Saturday. Um, we had a Mother's Day brunch today and I came home and slept for two hours. I don't understand how the people that went that were parents that did that, like, came to the brunch. I was, like, talking to Chandler afterwards. I'm like, I literally don't know how I could have taken care of a human after that. I was exhausted. I didn't do anything. But we're here, and we're going to finish up the last half hour of the two hours for reading. So I put on this, like, YouTube channel that I use for when I study, and they do, like, blocks of focus. So we're going to do 30 minutes and then we'll be done. Uh, bet's on if I can finish it in 30 minutes. I feel like I can. We'll see what happens. Eee! Okay, 30 minutes are done. I did not finish the book, but I am about, you know, this close. Tomorrow for sure. None of my holds came in, so I'm a little disappointed. Uh, so we'll be reading Giovanni's Room, which I'm not disappointed about, but I was very excited for my, my holds at the library. Sleepy time. Good morning. It is a Sunday and I am about to go do a 5k with some family members. Pretty jazzed about it. A little nervous because I don't think I've been running well lately, but you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. Two hours of running today. Let me put you down because I don't want to hold this thing anymore. Also, I said two hours of running. No, we're not doing two hours of running today. We are doing two hours of reading today. <laughs> That's the challenge. Two hours of reading today uh, will probably happen later today. I'm like playing around with, so usually when I run, I listen to an audiobook. And right now I'm listening to The Right Swipe, which I've counted pre in previous days during this challenge, but I haven't really talked about it. So I'm about halfway through. And The Right Swipe is just like a, it's like a rom-com or romance book about two people who meet up on like this app. And then like something happens where the guy ghosts the girl and she gets really mad and she ends up being like the ceo of this thing called crush which is like a dating app which is essentially like i i have to imagine it's kind of like bumble but with like more features <laughs> i don't know anyways so they're like uh and he is like the nephew of somebody in a competing dating app and he's like the spokesperson and now they're like kind of competitors but kind of not and they're like doing this like marketing campaign where like she's giving him dating advice and it's like you know with all that tension underneath it um i think it's kind of nice i think it's cute i think i this has been on my radar for a bit i've seen it around but i the reviews just kind of made me not want to read it i don't know i think it's good i don't think it's bad i don't know how to <laughs> wow groundbreaking stuff here yeah i think it's i think it's cute it's lighthearted. i think it's a really nice read for right now the summer is like it's not summer, but the weather feels like it's summer and it's like just breezy and whatever. Uh, but I don't know if I'll read that today. I might read it on the way there because it's about a half hour drive. So that will knock out a half hour of my reading time. I feel like running in a race, like in a race, like it would be really distracting. And I don't think I would really absorb any, any of the book while listening to it. So I might just, you know, listen to some running playlists on Spotify, but we might get it in there. Otherwise, this afternoon, this evening, we'll we'll do some sprints, maybe. And uh, <sighs> I'm excited. I feel like I could I can finish Kim Jong today, and then I could start Giovanni's room. I wonder how long Giovanni's room is. Ooh, Giovanni's room is really short. It's like under 200 pages. Oh my god, my eyes! 169 pages. Sunday. Let's rock and roll. Yo, yo, yo. So yesterday I did finish two hours of reading, I promise. And, ooh, let me grab my book. And I ended up finishing King Jung, born 1982, yesterday as well. Really, really, really like this. I can't wait to talk about this with Rachel. Um, there's a lot of things to go over. This is kind of like a feminist literature, literary text, and I really enjoyed that. I mean, I think it kind of speeds by, but I think there's a lot of things to talk about, like that, you know, working women have to endure not only just being mothers, but just being a woman in the workplace, especially in a business setting or male dominated setting. And then like the choices that you have to face just because of uh, your gender and what that ultimately means. And I think the book did a really good job of like the displaced identity 
because I think a lot of times there is that kind of like feeling that, that, that there's this displaced identity like when you're in those situations like and you just need to take up like somebody just needs to take over and I just really liked that analogy so enjoyed that one this is done can't wait to talk about it with Rachel so halfway through well not even halfway through I finished it pretty quickly when I started my two hours yesterday I started She Wolves so we we changed it up we're not reading Giovanni's Room my brother gave me this book like back in 2019 so I uh, want to read it so I can report back to him. So I started reading this yesterday and I got about 72 pages in, not bad. Um, this is just about um, the women who ruled England before Elizabeth. So, so, so right here, handy. It's interesting, it's a little dry, but I'm like not super bored, but I definitely want to get in like either a half hour or an hour right now on my lunch. Um, so I don't have to read two hours before bed because I was falling asleep last night. I'm gonna read for like, I'm gonna read for at least 30 minutes and then I gotta get back to work. So two hours of reading Monday. Let's go. Eee. Hello, it is Tuesday. Um, got two hours of reading in. I didn't document it all, but I promise I did it. I'm about page 140 of She Wolves. But right now, we're gonna go for a run. I'm gonna try to be outside and listen to my audiobook for an hour. So I only have to read my physical book for an hour tonight because girls getting tired. All right, let's go. All right, so I had a lovely run, a lovely walk. I had an hour of my audiobook in. I'm enjoying the right swipe. It's fun, it's light, it's like easy breezy. I feel like I was like in like a low slump this hour that I just read or listened to. Not a lot happened, so it was kind of like hard to really get into it, but I think that it was like a building, oh well, a couple of chapter building, like you know, like Stuff's gonna start happening soon. So now I'm gonna do an hour of reading She Wolves. My goal is to get to page 200. So I might read a little bit after an hour just to get there. Cause I would like to finish this book this month, this week. Potentially in this challenge, that would be great. So I have my little Sherry formula thing, focus timer on, and we're gonna do an hour. Hey y'all, so it is now Wednesday and I, just had a really rough day. I'm just trying to navigate a lot of things in my life right now. It just wasn't a, the greatest day um, and I didn't handle it super well either. So um, I didn't read today. Today is a wash. I'll do an extra day of the two hour reading challenge. Um, but I just wanted to be transparent because like, I don't know. I'm not a huge booktuber. I'm not a huge YouTuber, but you know, it's important to remember that there's people behind these screens and life happens and uh sometimes you just can't do it so but tomorrow will hopefully be a better day i'm gonna try to start fresh and i'll see you tomorrow it is currently 8 15 so i'm gonna put on a focus youtube video thing to do my two hours of reading um i'm very nervous that i'm not gonna do it because I will get tired. So <laughs> hopefully we'll get this done. Good morning. Hello. So we're back on track for two hours a day. I'm pretty sure that I read two hours yesterday but here's the thing i also filmed just a separate vlog yesterday and i was like my mind cannot compute doing two vlogs at the same time so we're delaying the two hours a day another day but the good news is is that today is the last day so i'm making myself a cup of joe which okay something i was thinking about <laughs> very randomly is so yesterday I went to like a coffee shop and I got like a lavender latte, great. I got the cappuccino from like the super fancy art museum I went to, fine. You know, I wasn't like loving it, but it was like cool. But you know, I, sometimes you just want a regular cup of coffee. You know, like that's, I don't want a latte. I don't want a frappuccino. Well, I don't ever get a frappuccino anymore, but you know, I just want, I just want some beans and water. That's all I want. And that's what I want today. 
so that's what we're making. I'm also feeling a little hungry, so I might make some eggs. I also have to like do like cleaning things. Like I need to like do these dishes, I guess. Where's my maid? She hasn't showed up forever. She's fired. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna just make some eggs first and then um, we're gonna reap. But I do really wanna finish she wolves today. I would like, that's like a goal. So I don't think, well, I don't know. We'll see. I wanna see where we get in two hours and that will gauge my thing. I also think it'd be cool to finish, to be able to finish this vlog or this two hour reading challenge thing by finishing my audiobook today as well, which I'm reading. God, I always forget the title. Swipe, right? I don't know. Right, swipe? <laughs> that would probably be more than two hours. But maybe we can be overachievers today. Who knows? Anyways, this is going on for far too long. So I'm gonna make some eggs and eat them and then start reading. You'll see me when I'm eating and reading. Okay, bye. It's just for today or what? Okay, so I just finished my breakfast and it was delicious. I'm not gonna lie, eggs always hit the spot. There's a little bit of a game changer, okay? Uh, my favorite streamer is playing. She's playing a very cozy Switch game. I'm gonna have her on, I'm still gonna read, and I'm still gonna aim for two hours, but since I use my, oh no, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, I almost thought that I, I took my bookmark out. You guys, there was no way I was ever gonna find that spot again. No way. I'm still gonna be reading, but since I use my phone for taping, video, recording purposes. I won't be able to show you like what I'm, while I'm reading or whatever that B-roll shit is. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm on 310, okay? And it is, listen, what time is it? I think it's like 9.50, that sounds right. So I'm gonna put away my dishes and get the stream on and start reading. Oh, well, well, surprise, surprise. Here we are again, Sunday. Listen, it's not even, not even, this is not even two hours a day. I read two hours yesterday for sure. And I read two hours the day before. So I just really wanted to wrap up this video with me finishing the books I was currently reading. So I just finished Sheet Whoops this morning, like just a second ago, and I enjoyed it. It was kind of dry, I'm not gonna lie. It was a pretty dry nonfiction book, but it was interesting. Uh, she was, I think I kind of talked about it, like about all the women who ruled England uh, before Elizabeth. I mean, essentially, I mean, they're ruling through their husband or they're ruling through their son and they're just kind of building to Elizabeth who doesn't need her, which is pretty cool. I mean, it just kind of goes to show how much I'm glad I didn't live during this time because it was horrible. Um, people lost their heads all the time. I don't understand why that was just the way to go. I don't know. Would I recommend? I don't know. Maybe if you're into like this time period and royalty and politics, there's a lot of politics in this, which I was not expecting. And I wasn't really interested in whatever. My neighbor's interested in this because she saw me reading outside and she's like, oh, what are you reading? And I told her, she's like, oh my gosh, can I borrow that? And I'm like, yes, obviously. And then I finished Right Swipe uh, yesterday which is the audiobook that I was listening to. I liked it, I think it was cute. It was a nice um, romance book to read. I was kind of in the mood for one. I thought the ending, I okay, so here's my thing. I know that romance books are like cheesy and kind of just like, you know, what's the word? Unrealistic maybe, I don't know, but cheese, maybe just cheesy. But I felt like the end of Right Swipe or the Right Swipe, whatever it's called, at the end, I just felt like it was so cheesy that it was kind of cringe. Like that's how like some of the some of the <laughs> some of the dialogue at the end I was like mm, no not for me it was good I, it was a solid romance book I don't regret it I would recommend I don't know just like any other romance books but it was good all right so this wraps up this challenge that dry out like just dragged on so I hope you enjoyed. I'm trying to do more of these challenges and hopefully they'll be more organized going forward. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Comment if you've read any of the books that I mentioned, what you're reading, say hi, and subscribe. If you're not subscribed and you made it this far, you might as well just hit the button. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.